<laughs> you know, I think we have a very special guest joining us on Skype. Do uh, we? Is it ready? Is he ready? Who do we I'm have? I'm hearing, it looks like he is. <laughs> Mr. Patrick Norton. I know that laugh. How did I know I was just going to end up being looking in the wrong direction? <laughs> you guys look shiny. You have piles of toys and a new place to play. You suck. <laughs> I say that with love and affection. <laughs> oh, no, I just realized David can't hear him. I, oh, I yeah, you hear him. Oh, okay. You hear a little bit, but yeah. <laughs> this is How David Foster, Patrick Norton. I don't think you guys have met in person. How's it no, going? We haven't. Hello. <laughs> we'll have to make that happen. How, where are How you are at you, today? Where in the world is Patrick Norton? I am actually here at uh, 108, uh, Suite 108, 948 Illinois Street in beautiful San Francisco, California, wow. in our pit. Nice. I don't know if you guys have seen like the new office downstairs. No. Which, uh, Oh, actually, it's, briefly. We when went it to the new yeah. building. at but, Rev 3, yeah. But did yeah, we go downstairs? I did. Oh, it's, oh. Your, it's your classic sort of loading dock turned into cubicles by way of a bunch of robotics guys that thought pulling IKEA lamp cords through <laughs> sheetrock and not actually telling anybody where the switches or the plugs were was a cool thing. So it's kind of like Hogwarts down here. Every so often, a light starts working or stops working. And then three or four weeks later, we finally figure out where the end of it is. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool um in a really random kind of like i don't want to diy this way at home <laughs> but uh, it's fun you guys are excited it's cool are you guys excited about the new space we are it's very uh we haven't really uh, caught up yeah we've been a <laughs> lack of sleep but we uh, were it's we exciting were, we were literally like it was one of those things where you know you have some kind of big party or something going on and you're cleaning or doing something Right. To, to, right to the minute where, like, you kick something aside and open the door for a guest. Yeah. Welcome. Well, it's like just before I went home and put on my clothes, yeah. I actually was just drilling up the last wire, yeah. Yeah. Of the, you know, laying on my back, and then ran and changed clothes. So yeah. Literally. That's good to hear other people's projects go like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, oh my goodness. So, uh, Patrick, uh, you're, everybody knows who you are, but for those who have joined us who don't, uh, yes. Techzilla. What? is still going strong. You guys are doing amazing things over there. Thank you. Uh, and then Die Trying is something we started uh, last winter, which is a DIY show. We've done everything from teach you how to make bacon uh, to Wait, fixing what? Oh, your car. Wait, okay, I think I'm, I've got a video to watch. Hang on. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what else you got going on? Uh, Texilla, Texilla Bites, two small children, and a home renovation, and uh, and and an airstream. So I'm 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 at capacity for projects. Yeah, what what is the airstream all about? Gonna go well, on the road? There was a point where where uh, where you know back in the early days of Revision Three, when when the economy collapsed, and I looked at my wife and said, you know, we should leave San Francisco uh, uh, if there's no money left because there's just no way to live here. And so we ended up with an Airstream and a list of, I think, 103 cities we wanted to visit. Wow. And then much to my wife's irritation, uh, the the economy recovered. You know, we got bought by Discovery and our opportunity to go drive around North America for a couple of years uh, got pushed out <laughs> indefinitely. So, yeah, it's fun. We picked up an Airstream project and uh, and uh, slowly working on that. Um but that's been exciting. How's the house that's remodel so cool. going on? It's exciting. Uh, we, uh, I think at this point, the May, the woman who lived in the house for 29 years before us, apparently was a wonderful woman. Uh, <laughs> there's some, some interesting things about the house. The owners before her wanted modern, so they took like the entire Craftsman interior out of a Craftsman bungalow, which wasn't too bad. Uh, but May loved things like concrete and roses. So our backyard was almost entirely concrete and roses. So wow. I'm at, 29,000 pounds of concrete and debris out of the backyard so far. Wow. Um, because, you know, there's basically one place I can tow it and I get a big old, I pay per pound to, to get rid of debris here in California. So um, it's been exciting. I yeah, mean, but didn't you tell me the last time we chatted that you were loading that stuff in your truck? Like you were like f filling tons of this stuff yeah. in yeah. your truck? Well. I got, I got, uh, I was, I was, I, I rebuilt three houses with my parents. So there was a couple things I kind of knew going into this, which was that the electrician and the plumber were going to be done before we moved in. So for the first time, I think in 20 years, I'm living in a house where all of the sockets are grounded and all of the electricity works. Like it's really neat. If you've, if you've lived in a lot of apartments, you've had that feeling where there's like, you know, the electrical sockets don't work. Or, you know, if you turn on the blender in the kitchen, the lights go out in the bathroom. So I had the electrician from hell go over my house 
with, uh, I have 20 lamp lines, lines everywhere. He's like, wow. you, you just want nothing to ever go out. And I'm like, yeah, he's like, okay. So we ended up with a 200, you know, 200 amp main. So I can now run the TIG welder in the garage and not screw up the Apple TV and the projector at the living room. Nice. You know what? Yeah. We need to get you and John in the same We gotta set. build something together. We have a special place here at the Geek House for his <laughs> welding tools. That's true. And his metal working. So yeah, you guys, we, you're gonna have to come out here at some point, Patrick. That's what we need to Absolutely. do, Patrick. Right? You come here. Before you come, the two of us are going to brainstorm about something we're going to build. And when you get here, we're just going to start chopping <laughs> stuff up and welding stuff together. It's going to be awesome. Oh, it's boy. Good. The three we'll of you good. are going to be in. That's I'm gonna, true. I'm just going to leave when that happens. I'm not much of a welder, but, you know, I can hold But you hold can build stuff. all kinds you of other stuff. stuff. You can build all yeah, sorts well, of I stuff. Here, hold this metal while I weld it. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Patrick. We've enjoyed seeing you. Yes. Uh, I, I wish you could be here, but we'll see you soon. Yeah. All right. You guys take care. Thanks, Thanks Patrick. See you. Bye. <laughs> so awesome. He's one of the coolest guys ever. He really is. You know, ever. he's he's been on TV for, oh, God, I don't know how many years. A long time. Yeah.